Now, while it is possible to start DJing just using the default settings in your Serato, if we go ahead and jump into the setup, there's some settings in here that you'll want to change that make DJing a lot easier. And the first one we want to jump into is here under the audio tab, and it's the USB buffer size. Now, the USB buffer size is the latency between when you do something to the deck and what comes out of the speakers. And the buffer size really depends on how powerful your computer is. So basically, the more you move it to the left, the lower, the faster response you'll get. And the more you move it to the right, the longer the latency will be between actually moving the deck or making a change and what you'll hear out of the speakers. Now you'll want to set the USB buffer size as low as you can go, but if you set it too low and your computer isn't powerful enough, the audio will start kind of getting scratchy and distorted, so you'll want to play with it before you get to your gig and really dial it in. Now the next setting that you'll want to change is right here under the Library Plus Display tab, and it's this button right here, Reset Play Tracks on Exit. Now if you've been using Serato for a while, you'll know once you play a song, it'll change color from gray to blue, and usually, what a lot of people do is they'll go under their history right here and hit reset to reset all those played tracks. Now, if you don't do that all the time, a lot of the tracks in your library will look like they've been played until you manually hit this reset button. But thanks to this setting right here, every time you close out Serato, it'll reset all those played tracks. That way you don't actually have to manually do it every single time you wanna reset all of those. Now the next setting that you'll wanna change is here under DJ Preferences, and it's this one right here. Play from first cue point. Now, if you have cue points set up on a song and you load a song and this isn't turned on, you'll manually have to hit that first cue point to jump to it. But if you, you have this one selected, it'll automatically jump to that first cue point every time you load that track. Just saves you some time, especially if you're into quick mixing. This can really kind of speed up your workflow. Now, the next setting that you'll want to change is right here under DJ Preferences, and it's Show Beat Jump Controls. So let me go ahead and turn that off, and we'll take a look at this deck section right here. Notice under the looping section in the deck section, you have eight different beat divisions to turn on your auto loops, you know, just like the default. But if we turn on beat jump controls, now that second row, that bottom row, is now your beat jump controls where you can beat jump forward, beat jump backward, and you don't lose control over your loops as well. They're just kind of buried a little bit further. But what I like to do is just keep my looping section where I usually do loops. And same thing with B jump. I use B jump all the time. It's really kind of changed the way I DJ and made me a way faster and more precise DJ. And you definitely want to have it turned on. Now, the last setting we'll talk about today that you'll want to change in your Serato is new to Serato 3.0 and can be found again in the DJ preferences. And it's this one right here replace primary hardware pad mode with stems. Now, of course, Serato DJ 3.0 gave us the ability to use stems in Serato and stem out any song in our library and having a way to access the powerful stems feature using the hardware in front of you instead of having to click on your computer really makes a better workflow. And this one really depends on what hardware you're plugged into. Luckily, Serato will remember all the different settings you have depending on which hardware you're plugged into. So for me, on my Rain 72, I have it set to my slicer mode. So if you look, when I hit the slicer button, now I have my stems here where I can turn them on and off. So you can see right here in the deck, let's show you on and off. I have control over all my stems as well as the stem effects right here. It makes it a lot easier to use stems and has made it a bigger part of my everyday DJ workflow. So those are five settings in Serato that if you haven't, you'll want to change right away. They definitely make the experience of using Serato a lot better and a lot more friendly for the DJ. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please be sure to give this video a like. And if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe to this channel. And if you're looking for more DJ related content, go ahead and click on one of the videos right here. Catch you guys in the next one.